Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about the design of EMI filter that is EMI filter design. So I will explain the step by step process to calculate the common mode filter value. Okay, so after watching this video, you will be able to calculate and design the common mode choke common mode choke. It's not a common mode filter. Let me tell you it's it's a common mode choke value after watching this video so before i start explaining the design of common mode choke uh, okay so let me introduce you the standard we follow for for conducted emission test so you can see this is the this is the limit line of conducted emission so conducted emission is also known as CE. So you can somewhere you can find the conducted emission somewhere you can find the CE. So as per standard, this is standard for European market. So sometimes in the Europe they follow for conducted emission is 550-22 oblique 32 class A quasi peak and EN 550-22-32 class a average okay so this is class a average and this is class a quasi peak this is class b average and class b quasi peak and sometimes people also also follow the ic standard okay sometimes they follow the CISPR standard like CISPR 22 CISPR CISPR 14 so let us now understand the standard en standard this is for european union european market that is 550 22 right right oblique 32 so let me explain the limit here so you can see in this axis we have frequency and in this axis we have the db level right so this is the red line and this is the blue line red stand for quasi peak and uh, blue stands for average peak so you can see at frequency what is the conducted emission frequency range a frequency band if it if let me ask you this question so your answer would be the conducted emission frequency range is 150 kilohertz you can see this is in megahertz so i have written 0.15 and here you can see 0.5 okay so for the conducted emission the frequency band is 150 kilohertz to 30 megahertz this is 30 megahertz guys okay okay so you can see this is frequency frequency range of frequency band and this is the label uh, db label so let me explain you at the frequency 150 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz this is 0.15 megahertz this is 0.5 megahertz so between the frequency 150 kilohertz to 500 kilohertz your quasi peak limit is 79 db microvolt and your average peak limit is 60 66 db microvolt and after that at 500 kilohertz to 30 megahertz at this point you can see your quasi peak limit reduced seven reduced to 30 uh, sorry 73 db microvolt and your average peak limit also reduced to 60 db microvolt and this is for class a if you are if you are complying your class a product okay now let us talk about the class b product so you can see here in the class b product for at the frequency 150 kilohertz you have the quasi peak limit is 66 db microvolt and you have the average peak limit is 56 db microvolt you can see here there is a 10 db difference between quasi peak and average peak okay so and you can see at this frequency at 500 kilohertz it has to reduce by 10 db again and you can see here this is 56 db microvolt here for quasi peak 46 db microvolt here for average peak and this is up to 5 megahertz this is 5 megahertz point this is 5 kilohertz point this is 150 kilohertz point so between 5 megahertz to 30 megahertz your quasi peak limit for class b is 60 db microvolt and your average peak limit for for class b is 50 db microvolt 
ओके सो दिस इज एवरेज वैल्यू एवरेज लिमिट दिस इज क्वासी पीक लिमिट सो गाइज होप यू अंडरस्टूड मोर a bit more about the conducted emission what is the frequency range and what is the passing criteria okay so so usually we follow the practice that our our product our internal requirement should be our product should comply below at least 6 db of this let us say let us say quasi peak limit so here they have given the 66 so your do your 6 db below margin would be 60 db so you have to meet the criteria for 66 db here at 150 kilohertz not 66 you have to meet the 60 db not 66 right so hope guys you have understood about the conducted emission let me go back in the calculation so i will i will not explain more about what is the common mode noise and what is the differential mode noise in the conducted emission i'll directly jump in the calculation part right so let us say for your calculation let us say you need to have attenuation of minus 30 db so usually for to diff, to do such kind of calculation we need to follow the attenuation is around minus 30 db okay so let us assume that attenuation is minus 30 db and let us say you have used some switcher ic the frequency of that switcher ic is 65 kilohertz and now you have to follow the process to define other parameter so let us say let us say now you have to find the cutoff frequency or corner frequency so there is a formula if you remember the attenuation in minus db equal to 40 log fc that is cut off frequency divided by switching frequency right isn't it so if you calculate from here you want to calculate the fc so fc equals to switching frequency into log base 10 attenuation divided by 40 so i did here i follow the same formula and i apply i i i calculated here the value of fc if you click on here you can find i apply the formula and you can now see your cutoff frequency is 11.55 kilohertz now you already know the the line input stabilization network that is listen the impedance of that input impedance of that is lisn is 50 ohm so keep it as it is and you this is zeta so this is attenuation value let us say uh, after 70% your signal start attenuating so i assume that this zeta value is 0.707 this is for common mode 0.07 0.707 db and now let me calculate the let me calculate the inductance value so if you want to calculate the inductance value you need to apply this formula l equals to rl into zeta divided by pi into fc and if you put this value here i put this value and i i use the formula here and you can see your inductance value is 973 micro handy so now you have got your inductance value common mode choke value okay that is 973.9 micro handy so now to design this inductance there is a different theory so you need to select the common mode choke and as per your rms current calculation you need to choose the common mode wire gauge okay so this is very important to choose the to select the core value and to choose the wire gauge and to define the number of turns okay so that is how this is very simple formula you need to have only two step to find out your common mode choke value and you need to for, uh, calculate the cutoff frequency and then by using this formula and you need to calculate the inductance value by using this formula so hope guys after watching this video you will be able to design your own common mode choke for your power supply design if you have any further question feel free to ask me in comment section thanks for watching this video